Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Day. This video presentation is entitled, What is a Data Breach? This presentation was for a cybersecurity and digital forensics course I took in the spring of 2020. What is a data breach? A data breach comes as a result of a cyber attack that allows cyber criminals to gain unauthorized access to a computer system or network and steal the private, sensitive, or confidential personal and financial data of the customer or users contained within. The United States Department of Justice definition is the loss of control, compromise, unauthorized disclosure, unauthorized acquisition, access for unauthorized purpose or other unauthorized access to data, whether physical or electronic. Some of the most earliest data breaches date back to 2005. At George Madison University, a hack into the ID card server at George Madison University exposed personal data, including names, social security numbers, and photos of about 32,000 students and staff members. In that same year, DSW Stu Warehouse had cyber criminals access a database and obtained 1.4 million credit card and the names on those accounts. More recently, Microsoft experienced a data breach where customer support, including 280 million Microsoft customer records, was left unprotected on the web, disclosing the email addresses, IP addresses, and support case details. Then one month later, uh, MGM Resorts experienced a data breach as well, where 10.6 million hotel guests who had stayed at the MGM Resorts had their personal information posted on a hacking forum. The data dump exposed the names, home addresses, phone numbers, emails, and the dates of former hotel guests. Common cyber attacks using data breaches are ransomware, which is a software that gains access to and locks down access to vital data. Malware, which is any program or code that harmfully probes a system. Phishing attacks, which are fraudulent emails are sent to appear from a reputable company with the goal of deceiving recipients into either clicking a malicious link or downloading infected attachments. And finally, denial of service, when a machine or network resource becomes available to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disrupting service of a host connected to the internet. The causes of data breaches I was going to focus on this presentation is exploring system vulnerabilities where it would be SQL injects, spyware or misconfigured settings, weak or insecure passwords, whether we're using dictionary words, repeating characters, personal data, or simple passphrases. Drive-by downloads, users unintentionally download malware by visiting a compromised website, or targeted malware attacks where threat actors actively pursue and compromise a target ent entity's infrastructure. Now there are many ways exposures data breaches can happen. They could either be discovered internally or externally. The external discoveries can come from watchdog agencies, law enforcement, service providers, or customers. Or internally by discovered by employees, the company themselves, or contractors. And what might have been compromised in a data breach? This could be customer names, addresses, email addresses, social security numbers, usernames and passwords, credit card numbers, financial data, health data, or any other sensitive data. Damage a data breach can occur. This can have a dev devastating effect on an organization's reputation and financial bottom line. This is a costly expense where damages lives and reputation and it takes significant time to repair. Data breach prevention. Best way to prevent data breaches are patching and updating software as, of, as soon as they are available, enforcing a bring your own device security policy, encrypt different data sources for sensitive data, enforcing strong credentials and multi-factor authentication, and upgrade software when no longer supported by a vendor. And detecting a data breach. With many data breaches occurring today, the potential for significant damage the need is obvious when it comes to detecting a cyber attack. The best way is to understand the network, what are the normal conditions and behaviors of the network, performing regular cyber threat assessments, identifying normal network traffic, 
protocols, users, and IP addresses. Wireshark is a very good tool if you do want to identify different protocols and users. Cyber Threat Intelligence. Cyber Threat Intelligence is data collected and analyzed by an organization in order to understand the cyber threats, motivation, and attack behaviors. Defenders can use this information to make faster, more informed security decisions, changing the behavior from reactive to proactive in the fight against data breaches. This can mean more visibility into new and upcoming threats. It reduces the number of incidents through early detection and prevention. You can experience faster and more accurate response times from your security team, and it helps to detect unknown threats that were previously unaware of. The different threat actors that could be involved in a data breach could be external threats, which would be cyber criminals that would do ransomware, malware, phishing attacks. Vendors who are not following good security practices, either accidentally or deliberately. Disgruntled former employees who are leaking or stealing sensitive data. Or the threat can be internal by employees who are untrained in cybersecurity practices, unattended devices left in public places such as laptops, mobile phones, and tablets, sending bulk emails, recipients, or sensitive information contained is with visibility for everyone to see. And these would be the indicators of a compromised data. Unusual login times, reduced heavy or unexplained traffic across the network, abnormal software installed, unexpected internet protocol addresses, new users with admin privileges, new ports open on the firewall, or just abnormal human behavior around the office. In summary, it's important to educate and train both users and upper management about the importance of security and the sustained investment that's required to effectively combat cybercrime. It's often human insight that makes the difference in a rapid breach detection. Security teams obviously need to stay up to date, but it's also important to educate other administrators and users so they can identify and report the early warning signs of a attack campaign. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it.